Hello and welcome into the Double T Insider. I'm Caitlin Kravick alongside Brett Brown, bringing you the inside access into Texas Tech Athletics. In this week's episode, we sit down with head coach of Red Raider football, Cliff Kingsbury. Later in the show, we speak with junior Red Raider Mackenzie White, our mass rider. Senior kicker Ryan Busson teaches DTI zone Luke Heath how to kick a field goal. And later, we sit down with senior wide receiver Bradley Marquez. This past weekend, Red Raider football took on the Arkansas Razorbacks at the Jones AT&T Stadium. Texas Tech scored early in the first quarter with a 15-yard pass to Reginald Davis. But Arkansas answered back with two touchdowns to close out the first quarter with the lead. Heading into the second quarter, sophomore receiver DJ Polite Bray scored his first career touchdown with the Red Raiders. Before heading into halftime, Davis Webb was able to put a touchdown on the board with a three-yard rush into the end zone. Going into the second half, Arkansas had a 28-21 advantage over Tech, adding to the lead with another Razorback touchdown in the third quarter, making the score 35-21. Before heading into the fourth quarter, Jakeem Grant caught a 39-yard pass for a touchdown, the last time Tech would score before falling to the Razorbacks with a final score of 49-28. When we come back, we sit down with sophomore quarterback Davis Webb. Double T Insider is brought to you in part by Plains Capital Bank, a proud supporter of Texas Tech football. Ride with the good guys at Plains Capital Bank, Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. Visit RedRaidersContest.game to register to win cool fan experiences. And by Texas Ford dealers. Visit your Texas Ford dealer today. Ford is the best in Texas. Welcome back to the Double T Insider. I'm Alexandra Haley. This week, we feature Red Raider football sophomore quarterback, Davis Webb. Third in the yard, handoff. No, Webb keeps it himself, goes right side, leads into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Davis Webb, sophomore quarterback. Coach Kingsbury called me and said, I, I remember seeing you at Prosper High School. We remember, I remember talking to him, and I, I knew you are the quarterback at Texas Tech, committed, and you're, you know, I'm so excited for you to come at the Lubbock, and I want you to come to Lubbock this weekend for official visit. So I said no to TCU on the official visit and uh, came to Texas Tech instead. It was a good connection, I guess. Just um, yeah, He's a coach's kid. I was a coach's kid. We were, both were driven, work, uh, hard workers. Play, both play quarterback at Texas Tech. You know, Both have similar interests and similar likes. And just, I can talk about anything. He's like a, he's like a dad away from dad for me because my dad was a coach. and I've always had that my whole life, and now my dad's not around, so I guess Coach Keith Berry kind of fills that void. That's probably the biggest relationship we have. You know, that was, that was a rough little couple weeks for me, you know, not being named the starter, losing 40-something pounds and stuff like that. And my parents didn't blink an eye. They, they loved me every second, second of the way and just telling me, you know, it's a couple weeks of your life, that's it. After that, it's, how, it's not how you start, it's how you overcome. It's how you have adversity, it's how you finish. So just finish strong, so that's what I was trying to do. Coach Dennis and uh, Dana, the nutritionist, just working my butt off, eating five, 6,000 calories a day, and yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Overeating and overworking the weight room, and you know, just working really hard this offseason, you know, trying to um, do something I've never done before. I know Division One, Big 12 football is not the YMCA. You know, everybody's going to try to fight for your job, and I know Pat Mahomes is trying, you know, trying to be a starting quarterback here. He's a great friend of mine. We go golf, we go out for dinner and stuff like that. I see Kenny Williams. He's going to be a two-year captain for sure. He's he's probably the biggest leader of our team. He's the heart of our team, and you know, Brad Marquez has stepped up, and I say Pete Robinson, Jackson Richards. Uh, Guys like that have really stepped it up on defense, so I'm really excited about our leadership this year. My my, my biggest goal is to be the best teammate in the Big 12. I like to do that. It's my kind of like my deal I like to do. I hang out with just not only Brad and Katie play video games all the time. I go out to Brandon Jackson's house. Um, I go over there to Jared Catcher's house and just go out there, go out to eat with them and stuff like that. But probably video games and food. I like music and movies. So I like a lot of things. I'm not worried about the game plans and schemes or anything because I know Coach Morris and Coach Keys may have that under control. I'm just, I'm really excited about how relentlessly driven this team is to maximize their potential. You know, last year we had a lot of potential. You had guys like Jace who were second round draft picks, Kerry Hyder, New York Jets, you know, Will Smith a draft pick, guys like that. But as a team, we didn't maximize our potential. And I feel like this year we have 11 guys on every, every single play on the field who are ready to maximize their potential. Coming up next, we sit down with head coach of Red Raider football, Cliff Kingsbury. Double T Insider here with head coach Cliff Kingsbury. Cliff, how are you doing today? Doing well. Doing Good well. to hear. There's an infamous photo of you from Preakness that, of course, we have to talk about um, with Mike Tyson and Tom Brady. 
What's more intimidating, taking two freshman quarterbacks to Norman or talking to Mike Tyson? <laughs> talking to Mike Tyson, definitely. That, that was like the guy growing up, the, the most feared man in sports. And so to be around him was, it was a little intimidating, but it, it was, he was a really gracious, really nice man. All right, so speaking of quarterbacks, let's talk about um, Davis Webb a little bit. How would you grade his progress? It's been tremendous. I'd say um, as good as any improvement I've been around at that position, just um, from where he came last year to what he was doing this spring. It was, it was awesome to watch, and it's a credit to him and his work ethic. And then the players around him. we got some great receivers and great alignment around him, and so it's, it's all come together. He actually spoke with us earlier and talked about you as kind of almost a um, father away from home for him, just a big role model. Um, how would you kind of describe your relationship with him in that aspect? It's grown. Um, we're, we're both coaches' kids, so I know what he was around growing up, and he, he knows what I, I grew up with. And um, you know, last year there were so many ups and downs dealing with young quarterbacks, and um, it's the wins, the losses. You just grow together, and, and I appreciate what his what he's about, uh, his work ethic, and, and his belief in me. Besides the new recruits, um, who are some of the guys that we didn't really see last season that are gonna uh, be able to contribute this season? Yeah, I think, you know, Jakeem Grant's a guy who, who played some last year, but will have a much bigger role in our offense. Brad Marquez, same same way, kind of split some time last year, but we'll play as many snaps as we can play him. And both those guys are tremendous wide receivers that they're going to have monster years for us. And speaking of Jakeem, um, do you compare him ever to Eric Morris or Wes Welker? He sees, you know, that, that talented. He's a little quicker, a little faster than those guys, um, but he's he's got a chance to be a special player around here. So why should any other team in the Big 12 be afraid of Texas Tech this season? <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let the play do the talking, but I, I will say that I expect it to be much improved. I think year one, we all learned from coaching staff on down and made a bunch of mistakes, and, and hopefully we can correct those and be, be a better team this year. All right. Well, thank you so much, Coach. Thanks for having me. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, we bring you Don't Set the Technique with Red Raider football's Ryan Beston. In this week's Don't Sweat the Technique, Red Raider football's Ryan Beston attempts to teach Luke Heath how to kick a field goal. I'm Luke Heath with the Double T Insider, and we're here doing Don't Sweat the Technique with Texas Tech kicker Ryan Buston. Ryan, man, we appreciate you coming out today. Really, Thanks thank you a lot. Me. He's going to take us on the in and outs of how to kick a field goal. But first, I got a couple questions to ask okay. you, man. I know kickers are very, very superstitious people. You got to have some kind of superstition you do before each kick or before each game. Uh, I don't have really a picky one. I would say just uh, make sure I put my left so sock on first, then my right sock, then my left <laughs> shoe, then my right shoe. That's probably about as uh, superstitious as you get. That's about as superstitious as you get? Yeah. Okay. And then I also know you're a senior on the team. Being an older guy on the team, how does that affect you? Do you feel pressure to help the younger guys out and show leadership more so? You know, definitely so for some of our uh, younger kickers. You know, I definitely help them out, just kind of get them used to like the game type atmosphere. But uh, yeah, it's been good. Absolutely, man. Well. Ryan here is going to take us to the mechanics of kicking a field goal. Lined up with the ball, and you'll be here. You'll take your three steps back. So one, two, three. Then once I'm back here, I'll make sure I'm lined up with my target. And then from here, I'll take two steps over. Come on to get your way, yeah. You're a lefty. Yep. And then from here, I'll take a jab step. And then I'll take two steps, and I want to go towards my plant. Now, a jab step, what is a jab step? A jab step's just a little short step right here. So you're literally just going to take a little... Yeah, it's just like a little half step. Okay. And from there, I'll take my next step, and then my next step, and my plant foot. And then from there, I'll just drive up with my foot. All right, let's show us how it's done. For three! <laughs> That's good, man. Yep. Well, let's see if I can give this a try. I don't know if I know too much about it, but I don't think I've ever made a field goal in my entire life for you viewers watching at home. You a lefty or a righty? I'm a righty. Walk me through it. Where, where should I kick the ball on my foot? Uh, like the middle area? Should I go toe? Uh, somewhere around right here on the foot. Right here in the middle of the foot? Yeah. Okay, and then for the ball wise, where should I kick on the ball? Do I aim for the middle or do you, should I go low? Yeah, about the, you put it in like three sections, like this bottom third. Bottom about third. right there. Okay. All right, so right through the middle. Three steps back? Yeah, three steps back. One, two, Three, and then two to the left. Two, right? That's what you do? Okay. And then do I need to take another certain steps going to the ball, or does it really matter whatever just feels comfortable? Uh, it's going to be your left foot first. That'll left be foot like first. a jab step like I showed you. Okay. And jab, one, two. Jab, one, two. Yeah. Okay. I've never made a field goal in my life. 
Just so you guys know. Jam. Oh, no, that was not very good. We're going to definitely do another one. Okay. okay. All right. Three back. One, two, three. Yeah. Two to the left. All right, you guys. This one's going in. Oh! <laughs> well, I'm Luke Keith with the Double T Insider, and that was Don't Sweat the Technique with Texas Tech football kicker Ryan Buston. Thanks for having me. After the break, we sit down with our mass rider, Mackenzie White. In honor of the Mass Rider Program's 60th anniversary, we sat down with current fearless champion, Mackenzie White. My name is Mackenzie White. I am a junior agricultural and applied economics major, and I'm the Mass Rider. I care for the horse primarily, and I care for the truck and trailer, keep everything maintenance. Um, I also make appearances all over Texas and we went to New Mexico this year too and so we go see kids, we see alumni, we go to charity events, pretty much anything we're invited to we get to go to and then of course sporting events. I've been riding my whole life. I really don't know a starting point. My mom had horses before I was born so I just always grew up around horses. I was always at the barn. Uh, when people say, were you raised in a barn, I really was, <laughs> so always been around horses. When I visited Tech, I got to be on the field for a game and see the mass rider, and so after that I was hooked. It's really a privilege and it's an honor to get to be an ambassador for the university. I really love that aspect of the job, to get to represent Texas Tech wherever I go. Uh, to be a symbol for everything that Texas Tech stands for. We've had a really good time. I've been so excited everywhere we've gone. It's been, we've been so well received and we really haven't had any negativity, which is awesome uh, for us and for Texas Tech. Pretty much for this year, Mass Rider occupies my life and I'm okay with that. Um, I spend a lot of my free time at the barn, getting things ready for whatever our next appearance is or bonding with the horse because that's so important on the field having a strong connection with the horse so he trusts me. It's a little bit stressful being on the field of course because it's such a dynamic situation. Uh, you have the fans and the music and the guns, uh, all the football players who are worried about catching their pass and not really paying attention to the sidelines. Uh, so I have to be alert all the time when I'm on the field. Uh, but at the same time, I do trust the horse. I know that he's going to do good. I know that we've practiced up to this point. And so as long as I'm alert and focused, I trust him to do his job. We sit down with Red Raider football's Bradley Marquez to discuss his senior season at Texas Tech. Three receivers, right to left, empty backfield. For Webb, who comes straight back, three-man rush, plenty of time. Middle of the field, it's caught by Bradley Marquez. Watch out, he's at the 40, 30, 25, 20, out racing everybody. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Bradley Marquez, senior wide receiver. Uh, just, just working on my game, on all aspects of it, and uh, just, just getting better at the new position that I'm at now. I just want to, you know, just have an arsenal of different things that I can do and uh, just learning the position in general and uh, that's the biggest thing I've been working on. I think you see a lot of speed and a lot of playmaking ability. Uh, the, these guys are all talented and, and each and every one of them I feel like can take the ball, uh, take it to the house on you know even a short route and make a big play for us and uh, at any given point in time. So uh, I think uh, that added dimension to the, this receiving core, something that'll be uh, be very noticeable. Like I said, each one of these receivers can do it as well as running backs. So uh, you'll definitely see a, a new, that new dimension to our offense. I'm just excited, you know, for the senior season. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, we're always underdogs uh, each and every year. And, uh, you know, that just, this is some added excitement for us because we know what we're capable of as a team. And so uh, um, I'm just excited for another year of football. I, I love the game of football. So, uh, you know, you only you get 13 games, uh, you know, 13 games in 12 months, so you wanted to make the most of each and every game. It's gone by really quick, and you know, just being an older guy now, it's kind of surreal for me uh, because Eric Ward's always been here and always had guys of, of that nature older than me. So now being the oldest one, older one now, 
um, you know, just being able to help the younger guys and kind of mentor them the way I was mentored, uh, you know, coming up uh, throughout this uh, program. So uh, something I'm definitely excited about and uh, definitely want to end the, end the year on a, on a good senior season. I would, I would emphasize that it really goes by fast. You have to take advantage of each and every day and, and each and every play game because it can be taken away from you really quick and, and, and in the blink of an eye you're a senior. So you want to make the most of it. And uh, it, it was told to me at, when I was a freshman by other players, but you really don't believe it or get a sense of it until it's actually here. And uh, so now being in that role, it's, it's, it's been, uh, been uh, really surreal for me. Yeah, just uh, probably just being around the guys, being around everybody, being in that locker room, and you know, it's, it's, this is uh, the time when a lot of people grow up and you know, and start their real lives. So uh, uh, it's something that uh, I'll definitely miss being around everybody. Yeah, I, I think the, the biggest thing is probably just coming out of that tunnel in the smoke and just having the Jones erupt. I mean, there's just no feeling like it in, a, in no other place like that in football, and. Uh, it's something that when you come down through that smoke, you know it's game time, and uh, we're excited. We're excited about to get that going this year. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, we bring you our Tweets of the Week, as well as the upcoming games in Texas Tech Athletics. Welcome back to the Double T Insider. I'm Luke Heath, and each week we pick the top five tweets about Texas Tech Athletics and air them right here on the show. This week we're featuring tweets about Texas Tech football, Red Raider volleyball, and Texas Tech soccer. Our first tweet comes from Texas Tech soccer coach Tom Stone, who said, Proud of our TT soccer ladies tonight. Great game with number 11 Cal, back and forth. But once again, they find a way. Hashtag no backing up. And hashtag no backing down. And hashtag not done yet. And 4205 Joe tweeted, Tough game, Red Raiders. Got time off. Let's regroup and be ready for Oklahoma State Cowboys. Proud of all you every single day. Hashtag I am a Red Raider. And our third tweet comes from Carlene Myers, who said, Jenna Allen's serving song is Harry Potter theme song. I've never been more proud of an athlete in my life. Hashtag TTU Volleyball and hashtag Reckon. And our fourth tweet comes from Cameron Brock, who said, Whoa, Texas Tech scores a goal in the final minute of overtime. How clutch is Janine Becky? A header with an assist from Allie Murphy. Our fifth and final tweet comes from Michelle Flynn, who said, A tiger does not lose sleep over the opinion of a sheep. I'm proud of my school and proud of my team. Always have my guns up. That's it for this week's tweets, but be sure to follow the Double T Insider on Twitter and be sure to check back next week when yours could just be chosen to be on the show. And coming up next, we take a look at Texas Tech's upcoming games. Friday, Lady Raider Volleyball begins the Lone Star Showdown from the United Supermarkets Arena in Lubbock, Texas. Texas Tech will play Abilene Christian starting at 12 p.m. Central. Later that day, the Red Raiders will battle Weber State starting at 6 p.m. Central. Lady Raiders soccer begins the Oklahoma State Invitational from Stillwater, Oklahoma Friday. Kickoff against Tulsa is set for 5 p.m. Central. Stay tuned. The Double T Insider returns right after this break. Double T Insider was brought to you in part by UMC Health System. It's our hospital. Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. Visit redraiderscontest.game to register to win cool fan experiences. Red Raider Club, your support, their effort, our fearless champions. And by Texas Ford Dealers. Visit your Texas Ford dealer today. Ford is the best in Texas. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode of the Double T Insider. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date with Texas Tech Athletics. For Caitlin Kravick, I'm Brett Brown, and until next time, guns up.